Evening, folks. Welcome back. It's John Pettypaw. I'm doing a video at 10 o'clock in the evening on Friday night, which is the 17th day of December 2021. And the title of the video is Anne Murray Wool Socks and Values. Anne Murray Wool Socks and Values. I just watched the CBC special. I'm not a fan of the CBC, called them the Communist Broadcasting Company Canada, but it was a fantastic documentary. It's two hours. I can literally say, next to election night, for regular programming, I've watched, just got finished watching the CBC for the longest I think I've ever watched it in probably 20 plus years. Anyway, a wonderful documentary on Nova Scotia's famous songbird from the beautiful coal mine community of Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. Her father was Dr. Murray. Dr. Murray took and delivered Mr. Jim W. Gogan, the right-hand man to Frank Sobey. And uh, her, there's a bellavo. It didn't say it on this interview. There's a bellavo in her background. That's why I have the beautiful, lovely Canadian flag up. Uh, I think it's her grandmother on her mother, grandfather, or great grandfather. There's, there's bellavo in her, in the family lineage. Okay, and and you go way, way back in the lineage. There was Acadian, so there's Acadian stock. Acadians are. Determined sometime in going overdrive, but uh, coming from a coal mining town and with Acadian stock, and more on that in a minute. Acadians are very musical people. They take and said, so Bellavo, I seen this interview, oh, 15, 20 years ago, interview she did one time. And uh, the Bellavo was on this ship, and they took, they, they threw the captain overboard. Acadian, they were from. Nepan, McCann, uh, in uh, Cumberland County were being expelled by the British. And they, they threw the captain overboard and somehow landed a ship. I don't know if they landed in coastal Maine or wherever. And they eventually made their, their way back to Nova Scotia. So there is, there is a Canadian in there. And I also have wool socks here. The title of the video is Anne Murray, Wool Socks. And values. And one time, I seen this interview 30 some years ago now, a little clip on uh, TV station. She was wearing wool socks and she was in, I think she was either in Toronto or Hollywood, either Toronto or Hollywood. And someone said, What are you wearing these for? What are you wearing these wool socks for? And he said, They're homemade, they're from Nova Scotia, and I love them, and I'm going to wear them. And so when you believe in something, stand up for it. Don't let anybody else change your mind. I damn well don't. I, I, if there was 600 people in the room and 599 said yes, I'd have no problem going up Mike and say, I say no. Conversely, if, if, uh, if uh, 600 people in the room and uh, they're all saying uh, no, and I thought it was yes, I'd have no problem saying yes. So whatever. They take and... Uh, Back to the coal miners. She is from Spring Hill. And you go all across Cape Breton Island. You see it in Port Hood, Marble and Spades, Inverness, Chimney Corner, Industrial Cape Breton, Sydney Mines, with a Prince Mine and her mines. They say Sydney Mines, name of the lovely communities. Rich in coal, rich in hospitality. You see it in the beautiful coastal coal mining communities of New Waterford, uh, Glace Bay in Port Morion, where the very first coal was mined in North America 301 years ago in 1720. You see it in the mainland, you see it in Torburn, the character of the people. You see it in Westville and Stelladen. You see it in Spring Hill. Any place as coal miners, they're strong willed, rock solid character determined people. So she is a, she is a product of. Nova Scotia, and specifically the beautiful Cumberland County, former coal mining community of Spring Hill, with Acadian stock, stock with Acadian roots in her. And we mentioned the, the wool socks. She stands up for what she believes in. So beautiful homemade woolen socks. Lady made these socks is now in heaven. She was of Acadian stock from Arishat. Actually, um, she was uh, Lockside Road in the schools. Lockside Road in the school, son, on Almadam, not too far from Arishat. So this is my relatively brief video on Anne-Marie 
wool socks in values. We can all be proud of Anne Murray and her beautiful songs she's done for her 40-some year singing career. And solid values. And with that, I wish you all the best. Joyeux Noël! Bon année! That is uh, French for Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Share the video far and wide. Press the subscribe button. Thank you. God bless. Good night.